Hello, I am Dr. Piyush Bajpai, uh, Head, Department of Medical Oncology, Manipal Hospital, Dwarka, Delhi. I will be speaking today on uh, personalized medicine and its usage in cancer. So personalized medicine is basically the right medicine for the right patient and at the right time. When I say that, I am trying to say that we are looking now and studying more of the genetic makeup of cancer, individual cancer and trying to target the various uh, aspects of that particular cancer that the patient is having. So every cancer in every patient is different and therefore one size fits all approach is no more being practiced. We look into personalized uh, tissues, uh, the tissues are looked into and uh, we look, look into the, the particular characteristics of those tissues. Uh, th those tissues are further analyzed by various molecular methods. The most common being used is next generation sequencing. This particular platform enables us to actually analyze the genetic material of cancer, individual cancer, the DNA of the cancer and then according to the uh, data which is available from this particular report, we analyze it, we discuss it in the background of the patient, uh, uh, the patient and uh, the feasibility, the health of the patient and discuss each and every case in a tumor board. Thereafter, we offer this uh, targeted therapy to the patient, uh, we discuss and uh, to give you certain examples, lung cancer in today's date can be also treated with a pill. You might not need a chemotherapy always for lung cancer. Some examples are for lung cancer, EGFR mutation, ALK mutation, ROS mutation. If these mutations are present, these actually cause cancer to progress. These are also called driver mutations. These mutations can be checked by oral tablets. Likewise, in breast cancer, you have certain subsets of breast cancer which are like estrogen positive which can also be treated majorly by tablets only at times. You might not need a chemotherapy always, so please do discuss with your oncologist. Also, in breast cancer, a very important part is played by the presence of a HER2 new receptor. Targeted therapy is quite easily available and also uh, is playing an important part in increasing the survivability. So why personalized medicine? Because the one size fits all approach has now proven to be inferior in efficacy as compared to a targeted approach. And therefore, personalized medicine is here to stay. However, there are certain limitations with personalized medicine. And those limitations are an enormous amount of data which needs to be analyzed in a manner you know which can your oncologist needs to analyze that particular data and choose a targeted therapy wisely for you it might not always be feasible to provide a targeted therapy based on the data available so the limitations is also the availability of the drug. However, there are also certain compassionate basis programs which are there and one can actually arrange for a drug uh, through these compassionate basis programs as well. So that is how oncology, medical oncology has progressed and uh, is actually benefiting patients in a big way. Thank you.